A Beginner's Guide to Propagating Succulents Succulent propagation refers to the process of creating new succulent plants from existing ones, either through leaf cuttings or stem cuttings. This guide aims to provide clear and concise instructions on choosing the right succulent for propagation, preparing the cutting for propagation and the different methods of propagation. When selecting succulents for propagation, it is crucial to consider their growth habit, such as stem or leaf cuttings, to determine the most suitable species for successful propagation. Succulents are plants that have adapted to survive in arid conditions by storing water in their leaves, stems, or roots. They come in various shapes, sizes, and colors, making them popular choices for indoor and outdoor gardening. For stem cuttings, it is important to choose succulents that have a well-developed stem structure. Examples of suitable succulents for stem cuttings include Echeverias, Sedums, and Crassulas. These species have robust stems that can be easily cut and propagated. It is recommended to select stems that are healthy, plump, and free from any signs of diseases or pests. Leaf cuttings are another common method of propagating succulents. This involves removing a leaf from the parent plant and allowing it to develop roots and grow into a new plant. Succulents that are ideal for leaf cuttings include jade plants, colanchos, and aeoniums. It is essential to choose leaves that are mature, healthy, and undamaged to ensure successful propagation. When choosing succulents for propagation, it is also important to consider the environmental conditions in which they will be grown. Some species may require more sunlight, while others may thrive in shaded areas. Additionally, certain succulents may have specific soil and watering requirements. By understanding the growth habits and environmental preferences of different succulents, gardeners can select the most suitable species for propagation, ensuring the success of their gardening endeavors. To prepare a cutting for propagation, it is essential to follow a series of steps that ensure the successful development of new succulent plants. First step, select a healthy succulent plant from which to take the cutting. Look for a plant with strong roots, firm leaves, and no signs of disease or damage. It is important to choose a plant that is in its active growing phase, as this will increase the chances of successful propagation. Second step, once a suitable plant has been selected, Carefully remove a stem or leaf from the parent plant. It is important to use clean, sharp tools to make a clean cut, as a clean cut will promote faster and healthier root development. After the cutting has been removed, it is important to let it callus over for a few days before proceeding with propagation. This helps to prevent rot and allows the cutting to develop a protective layer that will aid in rooting. After the cutting has calloused, it is time to plant it in a well-draining potting mix. Succulents require a soil mix that is specifically designed for their needs, as regular potting soil can retain too much moisture and lead to root rot. It is important to plant the cutting at the correct depth, ensuring that the bottom leaves are just above the soil line. This will allow the cutting to establish roots while preventing the leaves from rotting. In conclusion, preparing a cutting for propagation requires careful selection of a healthy plant, clean cutting techniques, allowing the cutting to callus, and planting it in a well-draining soil mix. Following these steps will increase the chances of successful propagation and the development of new succulent plants. Please visit asucculent.com to read more.